15 years ago when I left my country crying in the airplane because I didn't know what was my destination, what was my, my aim history in that moment. A new country, $2,000 in my pocket, a dictionary, my wife, <laughs> and that's it. I'm not refusing or, or rejecting my previous life in Cuba because it educated me. I got a bachelor's degree there. I prepared as a police officer. Because of political contradiction with the system, I decided to quit. It took from me five years to um, be able to leave the country. Immigration is a hard decision. It's a decision to take, not because the immigrant wants to leave the country, it's because there are circumstances that don't help people to live better. So once you take the decision, uh, be aware that you are going to face difficult, difficult time, difficult moments, overall because you live the, uh, your whole life behind you. But the most important for me was watching a, a, a woman wearing this uniform, talking to immigrants and not asking for any documents or any legal status. For me it was, wow, this is a, a very important agency that takes care of the people of the community. The most emotional part in this time the, of the career was when I met Marilyn Alvarez again nine years later. later. Uh, she didn't remember me, of course, but I remember her during this nine years that uh, took for me to be ready to join the agency. When I saw her, uh, for me, was the opportunity to say thank you. Any goal you have in this country, United States, you can get it. Absolutely, yes. My, I started my career, my, this career, in my 51 years old. Now I'm 52, my first years in patrol, and uh, I, I, I don't reject anything that have, any decision I have taken in my life, absolutely not. The United States offers a lot for everybody. If this episode of Before the Badge has inspired you to protect and serve your community, we are currently hiring law enforcement, detention, and civilian positions. Go to joinhcso.com to learn more.